Hello everybody, welcome back once again. Got another quick Octopath Traveler 2 video for you here. Uh, this time we're doing the boss battle for the final Temenos chapter, uh, which is happening here in the Wandering Wood. Uh, so let's get this started actually on the second here. Oh, we do have to deal more damage on, perfect. Yeah, that looks good. And it's nighttime. Yeah, alright, let's do it. All right, so. So, you were behind it all, Caldina. Come, own your sins. <laughs> My sins. There are those in this world with sins far greater than my own. Like your precious gods, for instance. They created this world, and in their folly saw fit to taint it with humans. A sin for which they must be destroyed. How many lives must be lost to satisfy your arrogance? Surrender yourself, Caldina. For it is I who shall judge you, and bring the truth to light. Do not stand in my way, Temenos. I will make the shadow mine, and avenge the Call people. I will kill as many as it takes. I will become whatever I must to see my will done. Our enemy shall be buried with the power of the darkness my people have long despised. Oh dear. Okay, crazy. Alright, let's uh let's start off with a laden power boosted sixfold strike to take the my turn. Six shields off just like that. Um so as far as weaknesses here, uh spear. Uh, staff, wind, and actually ice. Uh, let's see here. I do have the aggressive thrust, which is going to break her. Looks like I got the uh, the elemental defense down um, as well. Um, I can't remember what spear I have on Hikari, but that is that is what's doing that. Um, let's see. I think I'll start out with my usual... We'll do the diffusion. Here's a little something for you. And then I'll stack up some sidesteps. Let's do the blizzard here. Get that last vulnerability revealed. Oh dear. Yeah, she's got a, quite a bit of health. I'll take this. Use the uh, empowering light chi. Or light chi. Lich, whatever, <laughs> whatever that item is called, uh, to restore some uh, latent power. And uh, let's just right. use another blizzard. Why not? That was pretty weak, but my turn. Uh, I need to. What I need to do is buff up Oswald. Although I don't know. Kind of feel like I'm. I'm gonna I end up just obliterating her. So uh, we'll use a limb from limb here. I'm not. Uh, I don't have a buff on Hikari, so this won't do as much damage. But uh, she does have the defense down, so that's How good. Ooh, yeah. I'm just getting warmed up. yeah, and she's in the red. She she may be at one HP already. Uh, we'll see. I wanted. To, I want to wait until she's. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be some dialogue between Temenos and her, but um, I, I want to uh, see her second uh, phase and uh, weaknesses. Insolent creature. How long do you intend to pester me? You already know the answer until the truth is revealed. And you'll be the one to do so? Don't make me laugh. Humanity is powerless, Temenos. It is needy. It must cling to something for survival. As you cling to power? The shadow will be mine, no matter the cost. And what is this shadow? <laughs> the shadow is everything. 
It exists all throughout this world. It is with you while you sleep. It is with you while you fight for survival. It is with you always. It even dwells within your breast. Oh? Were you not aware? See it for yourself. <gasps> this, Temenos, is the shadow. <laughs> Incredible. <gasps> What's happening? No. Have I failed? <gasps> it threatens to consume me. <gasps> you cannot do this to me. <gasps> no! Dina. No, you are not she. You are. <laughs> cool concept. Uh, really bad dialogue. Uh, and that is why we use the uh, uh, sidesteps. I'm assuming here she's. Uh, I think not. I think she's basically dead, but. Uh, I'm gonna try to analyze her here, here, here. Yeah, she's at one HP. Um, all right. So as far as the vulnerabilities here, she's got sword, dagger, axe, fire, and light. Um, I would like to at least see them all, and and maybe I'll just you know stall here, and uh, we'll see see some more of her attacks. But as of right now, it's looking like the as usual partitio sidestep combo is gonna be excuse me solid. Um, tricks of the trade or trick of the trade. Again, I was that was that name always hangs me up, right? I'm, I'm used to saying tricks of the trade. Um, in that case, depths of hell misses. What do you know? That's very weird. Who who could have foreseen that? No, so let's step that again. All right, and let's. Uh, oh, I should have given Oswald some uh, BP. Well, we'll get her. Very well. Yeah, pulverize. That's gonna hit her. Um, should hit everybody, but um, you know, as far as the strategy goes here, uh, it's it's the usual. It's um, yeah, I mean, Temenos is going to be really solid here with Arms Master and uh, his latent power. Um, you know, being able to uh, shred six shields at a time is going to be really good for getting her broken during this phase. Um, <laughs> not that it really matters that much because. We're basically untouchable here anyway. I'm really kind of curious if she's going to end up using any elemental power, but uh, I'm not seeing it so far. Um, all right, so there it is. So um, sword, dagger, axe, fire, and light. Uh, as usual, um, you know, Hikari is going to be solid here. Limb from limb is probably going to be pretty good. Also, uh, fatal fang is going to be, I mean, even better. Four to eight dagger strikes, right? Uh, that'll really just take her shields down like nothing. Um, Ochet would be good here as well, uh, summoning like the, the that, that Frog King monster that I've got, right, because it does two axe attacks um, per summoning uh, and using her final, uh, you know, hunter, or the final skill that she gets for completing her final chapter uh, is going to be solid as well. But uh, I'm just going to end this with Sixfold Strike. I, I don't really think that she's going to do anything else that, that I haven't seen, but... Um, yeah, I gotta say, I mean, sidesteps just completely shut her down. Um, Goodness. I don't think, did we even take any damage here? Yeah, untouched. That is what I thought. So, um, that is the strategy for, uh, uh, Caldena. Uh, as usual, it's Partitio as a, uh, Arcanist. And, uh, we need to get the Eclipse Edge. I, my guess is, is that, is that gonna be, um, dark damage increased? We'll see. Yeah, I'll just, um, I'll skip this last scene. I want to see that sword. Man, her, her sword was really cool. Reminds me of, uh, Soul Edge. Um, I can never remember, uh, I mean, I know Cervantes has the, the creepy, uh, creepy blade, but, um, there's other, I mean, I think there's other, I mean, who knows, right? There's, there's probably a billion of those games now. Um, but anyways... Yeah, there it is. Uh, physical attack 352 and then raises the potency of dark-based attacks. Uh, I don't love the, the negative accuracy on that, but 
if you're using the blessing um, in disguise uh, accessory, that'll change that into a positive. Um, but really, if you're if you're looking to raise potency of dark based attacks, maybe you don't care so much about your accuracy anyway, because you're probably going to be using um, you know elemental attacks instead. Um, so like a you know like thrown a you know that's always going to be kind of solid on her right uh, her ability to use. Uh, you know, dark-based attacks in her thief job, uh, as well as her, uh, you know, EX skill that she gets uh, from the shrine. Uh, being a, you know, multi-target dark attack would be pretty solid as well. But uh, anyways, that is it for Captain Caldena. Uh, as always, hope the guide was helpful, and thanks for watching.